Hi friends, I'm Erica from Apple and Tree and tonight I have for you some reviews of the candles that we've been burning in the last month or so. I just want to start with this one over here, Pink Fairy Gumdrop that I just got yesterday from Bath and Body Works at the buy one get one free sale and it's so beautiful. It smells really good but even more than that, it looks so pretty burning. The way that the light flickers through these labels, it's just so pretty. So let me give you, give you a close up of that right now. Isn't that great? I just want to buy at least one more of this, one more of, um, I don't know about Mary Cookie. Um, I may or may not get one more of that. I'll see how it burns, but I think with the evergreen, wherever I have that one, I think I want to get another one of the evergreen as well, just to have it. Like I mentioned um, yesterday, this collection is so cute that I'd like to have one of each of my favorites to hang on to, um, you know, like for a couple years. I don't know. <laughs> They're just really cute. Okay, so this one is great. Somebody, uh, Michelle told me that the sale goes through Sunday, which is tomorrow. So I think I will pop in the better Bath and Body Works in my area and see if they might have, um, you know, backup of these, which they probably will. And then there's a couple other new ones coming out, new Christmas candles coming out that um, my store didn't have when I went in for these that I'd like to see if they have. So I'll keep you posted on what I do. And you let me know what you, what you have found in your area. Um, and if you're shopping now or if you're gonna wait uh, for the next sale, or maybe you shop um, full price. I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's see. Here's what we have been burning lately. This one I just started burning, so it's not very far down. It's white, white pumpkin, and it's really good. You really can't go wrong with this. Beautiful label. It's a very nice pumpkin. It's not thick or overpowering. The notes are white pumpkin, autumn spice blend, and ground cinnamon. The cinnamon is light though. Um, it's just really nice. This, I think you're pretty safe with the white pumpkin. Um, let me compare it to this pumpkin vanilla cream, which is believed to be the same as previous year's pumpkin pie candle. And this one is a little more bakery than this one than the white pumpkin so to me that bakery kind of equates to a little bit of like thickness to me you know like in the air in the scent um too much bakery too much thickness to me is too much i don't like something to take over the atmosphere i like something to just kind of enhance the atmosphere that you've already set in your home Okay, so this one, White Balsam and Vanilla, I did a review on this for you guys, and I am gonna return this one. I only burned it once, and it smelled exactly like Marshmallow Fireside to me on cold and burning. So I'm gonna return this because it has no balsam. Even though I burned it one time, um, I have a reason. So like when I exchanged my candles a couple days ago that had not been burned, and they asked me the reason for returning them, I just said there's nothing wrong with them I just didn't like them um, and they're like okay so on this one I'll say like yeah the when they ask me what's wrong with it I'll say the the scent is not what it um, said it was gonna be so so I'd like to so I can exchange that for another candle so if I bring that with me I'll be in really good shape um, okay so this is white birch by homeworks by Harry Slatkin and this was very enjoyable um, it burned pretty quickly. I'll probably hang on to this vessel. This would be good for burning votives or smaller candles in. Um, if you guys have never cleaned out a candle jar before, what you do is you get 
boiling water in a tea kettle is best because then it's super easy to pour. So I put water in a tea kettle, put it on the stove. When it starts to boil or steam, then I pour it into the candle vessel, um, not all the way to the top, a little room because the wax will rise to the top. And then when it cools, you'll have a like a wax um, surface to break through. So you crack that, pull out the wax, dump out the water, and then you're probably going to have a little more wax left in there and you'll probably need to do it two times, fill it again with boiling water, let the wax rise to the surface, and it cleans out super nicely and you can use your, your candle vessel for whatever you would like. Okay, these next two, you may not be familiar with the company. It's a boutique candle brand and I bought these up north in Wisconsin in a cabin store, like a cabin decor store, and they're really good. I like this brand a lot. It's called the Bathing Raven, and the um, two candles are Sleigh Ride and Deep Creek Lake, and they smell si similar, except this one's got a little more holiday scent to it. So it's blue spruce, fir needle, and pine cones on the Sleigh Ride, and Deep Creek Lake is balsam, moss, and amber. They're both very good, um, both really, really good. This one smells more like true pine, and then this one's like holiday pine. So those were great. Um, those were $14.95 at the store that I got them at, and I will definitely get more of those when I'm up north again. Okay, I burned this Yankee in my bathroom, this black coconut. It was really nice. I didn't finish it, I got kind of tired of it before I, um, not like tired of it, just kind of bored of it before it finished. So I'm just gonna um, throw it away, I guess. Um, sometimes these Yankees take so long to burn that I'm ready for some more excitement by the time, um, but before they're done. I got this one for $12.99, um, must have been at like Ross or TJ Maxx or something. So. Um, it was a good candle. It's got a nice pretty label. I would recommend it. Uh, I think that's the first black wax that I've burned before, but it was nice. Just lasted a little too long for me. Nothing wrong with it. Okay, and another Yankee is North Pole. And this is a good, um, like minty vanilla kind of scent. And it's light and pleasant and enjoyable. I burned this in my bedroom and it was mainly just for ambiance and it gave off like a just a slight throw of maybe like a two or a three so like you could barely smell it but sometimes that's what I want so it burned really nice and clean isn't that good not a lot of soot on that okay next up is a Kringle candle and this is one of my favorites snow-capped Fraser beautiful Kringle label beautiful Kringle white wax and I've been burning this in our living room. It's got two wicks. The wicks are great. They're just right, I think. Not too thick to soot and not too thin where they um, aren't able to let the candle pool out. Do you know that when you light a candle, you should let it pool out, which means the entire surface of the candle is liquid wax. That helps it burn evenly straight down and it avoids tunneling if you blow out your candle um, when it's like this, where it hasn't it hasn't liquefied all the way across, then the next time you light it, it'll only liquefy to these edges where it liquefied the first time. And then it keep it tunnels down and you get, you have, your candle is done, the wicks are done before your wax is gone. And so a lot of your wax is wasted. If you do find yourself in a situation like this where tunneling has started, you can foil the candle, which means you take um, a strip of tin foil and create like a topper, wrap it around, kind of curve it over, but leave a little opening for the air to get through and it'll warm these edges and it'll correct your tunneling. It'll help it to pool out. So just a little fun fact for you there. Okay, next up, The Perfect Autumn. I loved this. Um, it, it burned really well, real evenly. The wicks were great. Started to get a smidge smoky. You can see a little bit. Oh, here's Bella. <laughs> Will she say hi this time? Hmm, I don't know. Um, it got a little smoky on that white wax, but it's not bad. 
still smells really good. There's, I could probably get one more burn out of this if I wanted. Um, unique kind of packaging for Bath & Body Works with that solid black with the white writing, but I like it. Okay, this is a candle company you may not have heard of, Spire Side Candles, and they have candles that are kind of like Disney inspired, and I'm sure they have other ones as well, but I love their Disney inspired candles. So the Mermaid's Lagoon would be inspired by, I think, Peter Pan, because Peter Pan has a Mermaid's Lagoon, whereas like The Little Mermaid and Ariel, she, I don't think she has a lagoon. But this was really good. It smells like a really yummy hair conditioner or a fruity shampoo. Um, I don't know if they give us notes on here. These have a thicker wick. I have to always trim it. Um, and they don't see all that on the edges. They don't burn super clean, but they're a nice little candle. Um, they're so fun. You know, the different themes are fun. And uh, spireside.com is the website. But um, every one of these that I've had has smelled excellent, really good. So they're fun to try out for something different. Do that if you, if you like Disney, I think you would, you would enjoy looking on that website at least. Okay, Sweetwater Decor is a company that I found on Instagram. Like I got a lot of Instagram ads for it. And I bought this Christmas number 25 candle and it was really good. It was really nice. The notes are cinnamon, trees, orange, and cloves. And it's really good. It's similar, um, what is it similar to? Like holiday or winter by Bath & Body Works. For the, this is a little more expensive because you can see this is like a small candle. This is like 10 or 11 ounces. Um, and I don't remember the price exactly, but I know it was more than like a Bath & Body Works. Um, one wick. It's kind of the size of a Bath and Body Works one wick, but I know it was a little more than that. But it's a really, really pretty company if you if you look them up. Well, thanks guys for watching. I have a goal to get to Bella and I have a goal to get to 1,000 subscribers by the end of 2020. So help us out if you're not already subscribed. Hit subscribe and help us with our goal. We'd be so happy to achieve that. So thank you for watching. Say hi in the comments and let us know what you're up to and we will see you soon. Bye.